There's so much ongoing across our region right now, winter weather wise. So we go to Tucker to tell us what the forecast is. And just by the dress right there, that means winter weather is back. We know it. Our first alert forecast tomorrow. We start out with maybe a little bit of light rain or freezing rain. We warm up into the mid thirties. If we are lucky, let's hope for it. Some of you could be a little bit cooler right now in Louisville, Mississippi, 32 degrees. We've got some light rain around, so we are at freezing. Watch out for a little bit of glaze that could develop downtown Columbus with our bank first camera. Also, it's a wet evening here in the friendly city. All right, radar showing the moisture developing as expected right on cue. We have some rain and we are coloring it pink in those areas that are at or below freezing. And those are the areas that could have that glaze on some elevated surfaces and the bridge deck. So just be extra careful this evening and tonight as this moisture moves on through 32 in Columbus, Starkville, West Point, 32 below 29 Winona. And back to the northwest, it is colder, but it looks like most of this moisture is probably going to be along and southeast of the Natchez Trace Parkway where it's slightly warmer. So this is the winter weather advisory for these areas through mid morning Saturday. By mid morning tomorrow, a lot of this moisture is moving over to our east. Our forecast for tonight around freezing, basically holding steady down here in the southeast back to the northwest, upper 20s, a uh, little bit colder for you, and that's going to be the general just here all weekend long. So tonight and tomorrow morning, a little bit of a glaze where we just mentioned and also a chance for more glaze ice on Sunday with another little disturbance coming our way. So your weekend right here, Saturday, Sunday highs in the 30s, a light uh, mix tomorrow morning and then a lull and then Sunday. A little bit of light freezing rain possible again across our western and northwestern counties. Let's check it out hour by hour. Futurecast pick it up on the moisture now. By mid to late morning tomorrow, a lot of that's done, but then the clouds hold on. It's going to be a blustery cold day. Wind chills in the 20s. Cloudy to start Sunday. That second disturbance will move on through the region on Sunday. And right there, we may have a little bit of light freezing rain to deal with too. Southeast, maybe just rain. So that will move on through and then we have this Monday, a high impact winter weather maker snow, not so much, but freezing rain and or sleet likely very cold air. We may have power issues and some travel issues around here starting Monday morning, lasting all the way through Monday night and possibly into Tuesday and maybe even Wednesday too with these cold temperatures. So because of that, we have this winter storm watch for a good chunk of the area. This is for Sunday through Monday night. We'll likely have more counties added to this, but this is going to be a big weather maker, folks. This is going to be one of the biggest systems we've had in a long time. As far as ice potential in our area, we'll have this area of low pressure come in out of the Gulf. Notice all of that pink in our area. That would be freezing rain or sleet. It's going to be an icy mess, we think, and there will be a pretty good stripe of some significant ice. We think at this point we're going to go with a quarter of an inch to a half inch of freezing rain Monday. That's the current forecast. We will be massaging this all weekend long. Trevor will be here updating these maps and these totals here this weekend, but sleet, same story. There could be a swath of sleet too. I would prefer sleet more than freezing rain, but it's still ice and it's still slippery. And across the northern tier, there could be a little bit of light snow too as that system wraps on up. So that's what we have going for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, a break Tuesday, still below freezing. Another system late Wednesday into Thursday could give us more wintry weather. I think we climb out of this pattern by next weekend.